owe a lot of my love for movies to my mom and my dad, you know. Hello and welcome. This is Phil Biadrone. I'm here today with Ken Sanders. Ken, thank you for being here today and allowing us to ask you questions. You bet. Okay, so in order to begin, let's start at um, your beginning. Mm -hmm. So I understand that you're from Georgia, and that mm -hmm. was where you grew up, and of course, you made the transition to Los Angeles. So I'd like to ask what drew you to Los Angeles, and if any part of your upbringing in the South has informed you as a writer. Oh, I, I <clears throat> well, to, to answer the second part of the question first, I think absolutely. Uh, I, I think, uh, well, first and foremost, I think this would apply to anybody, you know, my my love of storytelling, I think, uh, in some ways came uh, from my family, it came from my parents, and both of my parents uh, were, were big uh, movie buffs, uh, and my dad uh, would take me to see one kind of movie, whether it was a western or it was uh, a comedy, and my mother was, you know, uh, liked the old movies with, uh, you know, Betty Davis and Joan Crawford, which l luckily at the time were just being uh, shown on television a lot, so you know I would watch those with her. Anyway, I got my my first sort of uh, preliminary film school education by being able to watch a lot of old movies on uh, Ted Turner's TV station, uh, WTCG at the at the time, later became WTBS, uh, and uh, then and then then going to the contemporary films that were playing in theaters, often with my dad. That was our weekend thing, you know, the father son thing that we did. So uh, you know, my, I I owe a lot of my love for movies to my mom and my dad, you know. Uh, but I do think, uh, you know, thinking more broadly about the South, uh, you know, the South, uh, the South has always been a place uh, for whatever reason that, that has inspired writers and certainly much better writers than me. But, uh, but there is something about growing up in the Deep South and in the Bible, Bible Belt and uh, uh, having this uh, hyper awareness uh, of good and evil uh, there, there is a there. There is that that is sort of in the the, the southern soul, and I think the, uh, the that that is something I carry with me into my work uh, as an adult. Uh, I, I I have a I have a certain preoccupation, I think, with um, uh, with understanding uh, evil, and uh, I I like in, in my storytelling to. Um, to present uh, uh, th the opposition in terms of my understanding of what I would call the evil personality. That is to say, uh, uh, M. Scott Peck would call it the, you know, the, the, the pathological narcissist to, that, that causes chaos and, 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 and tears people, people's lives apart. Uh, and, and, and so I, uh, I, I do think that that pops up in just about every one of the films that, that I'm involved, especially with developing and co-writing. Uh, and uh, and and uh, that that does come from uh, that old time religion uh, in some ways uh, that I grew up with. Uh, now, how did I come to L.A.? Uh, I I would say uh, y you know being a uh, a, 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 f a film uh, uh, f film addict of, of growing up in the 70s uh, and the uh, the whole George Lucas era of uh, filmmaking. We'll call it the f you know when the film school started becoming uh, uh, more well known. Uh, I mean, after Star Wars, uh, there was no question in my mind I was going to go to USC. And so I uh, wanted to be a filmmaker. I uh, didn't necessarily want to make Star Wars, but, uh, but I looked at, at people like George Lucas and uh, Spielberg at the time. And it could be and done. It, it, you know, there, there were these Enemy. kids going out there making these movies, and uh, I thought, well, I want to go to the place, I want to go to the schools they went to. And so I'd never been west of Alabama in my life, but, uh, you know, and I was... Uh, uh, 19 years old, flew across the country, landed in L in L.A., and I've been here ever since. Wow, wow, uh, that's it's really funny, kind of going back to, you know, uh, your upbringing and sort of the films that drew you in. You mentioned like the Joan Crawford and the Betty Davis type. I liked those, yes. Yeah, and of course those <laughs> characters gravitate towards you know pathological, narcissistic, mor morality questionable characters. That's great. Which obviously floats up a lot in the current work that you do. That's so I think, yeah, I think even so. now connecting those dots, I can see the path that you made from even as a child and then going up and having that sort of upbringing That's into good. what you work on now. So I, I, I definitely see that it is informed in what you do now. So yeah. since you went to USC, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you, you were inspired by George Lucas and Spielberg, as many people are. And of course, uh, 
George Lucas you know, was completely independent when he did Star Wars. Am I correct in saying that? I, I think I think that uh, he had a lot of independence. Of, you know, uh, as a as a at that point he was a bankable director uh, mm -hmm. because he'd had American Graffiti, right? So of course, yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, when we get back, I'd like to ask you about uh, being your own independent filmmaker. Okay. <laughs> 